Hi, today I will show you how to make a low poly looking water in Blender 2.8. Let's create a plane for the background and let's add a cube. That will be the water. Scale it up. And now switch to edit mode. Pressing tab. Select the top face and subdivide a couple times. This will give us enough polygons for the water surface. Now let's go to modifiers and add a displace modifier. Create new texture and choose Blender preset cloud texture. Let's go back to the modifier list and enable the preview. Now you can see we have a water surface you can see it's going a bit crazy on the edges we can fix that by using vertex group let's create one call it the surface for example and shrink our selection and assign it to the modifier this way the vertices on the edge will be excluded from the modifier and now we have nice sharp edges to the water surface. We can also triangulate the faces to have even more pronounced low poly look to the water surface. Okay, now let's add some object, for example, the blender monkey, so we can see how it's reacting with the water. Let's add smooth shading to it and move it around a bit. Now we are ready to set up the materials and the renderer. Let's choose Cycles as rendering engine and enable the viewport preview. Now we can see how the picture will look like after being rendered. Let's add some lights. Let's add area light, move it up and scale it. We can rotate it as well to face the camera. Let's rotate around the 3D cursor that's in the middle of the scene. And now we're ready to work on the water material. Create new material. We can name it water. And all we need to do here is to change the transmission to make the material transparent. We can also play with the index of refraction that will influence how the light breaks after entering the water. And we can change the color to blue. Now you can see it's starting to look like water. Let's increase the strength of the light a bit so we can get some reflection of this on the surface on the water and let's also increase the whole brightness of the scene also tweak the exposure can see the surface of the water it looks quite plasticky and we can tweak this by changing the water material so let's go back to it and let's tweak the roughness to make the surface of the water more reflective we lower the roughness we can start seeing some nice reflections on the surface. Let's add some material to the monkey head as well so we can see, see it better in the water. And let's increase the roughness to make it more plasticky and change the color to red.
Now you can see how the silhouette of the monkey breaks inside the water. And this is affected by the index of refraction settings in the water material. The higher it is, the more distorted the part of the monkey that's in the water will be. Let's add some more lights to the scene. So let's create another area light, move it up, scale it, and let's position it to be on the left hand side. And for this light, we will add orange tint, so it'll be like a fill light. Let's also increase the strength of the light. Now we can start seeing some reflection on the surface of the water from the fill light as well. And let's add one more light, this time a bluish tint on the opposite side of the scene to work as a backfill light. This will add nice contrast to the lights. Now I'm just playing a bit with the exposure, the scene and, and the overall brightness. And after this, we can just align the camera to the scene. And start rendering. I hope you like this tutorial and if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and I'll see you soon. Thanks!